just follow along with me. I'm not sure you'll be able to hear me when I'm while I'm working out because I don't have someone to demo with me. So just have to keep an eye on what I'm doing. But we're going to start with some jumping jack, some high knees, running in place, and to do some running in place. All right, now to my knees, lift those knees up. And a butt kicks. Thank you, your bum. Sorry about that. Someone's calling me. All right, now we're gonna do some open the gate. Okay. Close the gate. Those hips warmed up. All right. All right, we're gonna do some squats. So let's do five squats, ready? All right, and some lunges. So we're gonna alternate. We'll go on with the left, the right. All right, we're going to right. forward circles, backwards, cross your body. Her back warmed up. Good. All right. Make sure no one's near you or, or within distance. We're gonna do some front kicks and back kicks. Try to touch your toes. Backwards. All right. I'm going to do some step to the side, kick across my body. Step and kick. And I'm gonna switch side. I was kicking with my right or my left. All right. Grab your markers with our four cones, whatever you have on hand. You want to leave about a half a meter between each each cone. There you go. All right. Today we're gonna work because as a goalkeeper, uh, this is right here. 
as a goalkeeper, are pretty much as important as our hands. So we're going to work on some footwork today, getting quick feet. And we're going to be working for through each exercise. We're going to do each exercise eight times. All right. So we're going to start with uh, a forward run. So, but we're going to try and get two feet in each cone. And when we get back, we're going to jog along the side backwards. You'll see. I'm going to. I'll demo it really quick, and then I want to to see you guys do it. All right, whenever you're ready to go. So two feet in, there we go. Good, Orlando, hold on Lily. Feet in, yeah. I'm gonna do it eight times. Good. Move those feet quickly. Make sure you use your going through, right? There we go. Well done. Good stuff. I like it. Should have come to your front yard to do it. <laughs> do it on the street. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. Thumbs up when you guys have done eight. Get a quick breather. All right, cool. All right, while you're getting a quick break, I'll show you the next one. It's pretty similar, except this time we're gonna do we're gonna do it sideways. So two feet in each, but sideways. All right. Just watch and then we'll do it. How you feel? Got your, you guys caught your breath already? Ready to go? All right, let's see it. So let's do, it'll be eight times total. So four times to your left and four times to your right. Good, good Orlando, good Lily. Good work guys, I like it. There you go, cheese killing it. I like it, good work. Good, all right. Cool, catch a breather. All right, we got, next one we got is a slalom. All right, but this time we're gonna go forwards and backwards through it, all right? So, pay attention as I do it. Right? So it's continuous, it's gonna be up and back, up and back. So I'm gonna go kind of avoid each of the cones. It's almost like you're sidestepping through each one, but facing forward. Let's see. I'll try it again. I'll do it with you guys. All right. Ready? Whenever you're ready. There you go. Feeling all right? Good? Okay. We've done four. All right. So now we're going to go back through them sideways, so from left to right. But we're going to do two feet, two feet in, in each, and then two feet out. I'll show you. Yeah. All right, so if I'm going to my left, I leave with my left. If I'm going to my right, I leave with my right. I'll do it again, Lily, if you didn't see.
Good work. Stuff. Work, guys. All right, let me know when you've done four to each side. Quick thumbs up. Thanks, Oscar. Cool. Good work. All right. All right, now we've got some hops. So we're gonna hop first with two feet going forward. Then we're gonna hop with our right foot going forward. And then we're gonna hop with our left foot. All right, and we're gonna do that four times through total. So you'll be going, actually no, we'll do three on each, on each. So you do three times through with two feet, three times through on your right foot, and three times through with your left. But I'll show you as well. All right. So once I've done three with both feet, I'm gonna do three times with my right foot. Now we've done our right foot, so we'll go to our left foot three times. Doing all right? Good work, Orlando. Seth Lily. All right. So if we did it forwards and back, well, we didn't do backwards. We're not going to do backwards. If we did it forwards, which direction are we going to go now? Sideways. You guys are all on mute, so that's all right. I'll answer for you. So we're going to go sideways. But this time we're going to do sideways two feet. So two feet to our left. And then we're going to go. When we go to our right, we're going to jump with our right. When we go to our left, we're going to jump with our left. Then we'll go two feet, right foot, and left foot. Just watch me if you can. The big thing is that you're just going to be going from two feet to one foot, one foot. All right? Good work, stuff. There you go, and as you get better at it, you're gonna be quicker through the jumps, right? Stuff, do about, should be about four each direction. All right, cool. Good work. Water. So grab a quick sip of water before we go on to the next set of drills. If you have water on hand, thirsty, grab a quick breather. <sighs> Lily's all good to go. Not even tired. Have to bump it up. I bring no water anyway, so. All right. Well. Be thirsty for after training then. All right. Okay, so now with our cones or our shoes or whatever you have on handy, we're gonna set up a little square, okay? So it'll be about three steps each direction, okay? Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, now we can grab a bowl. So we're a bit limited since we are alone to train. The idea would probably to have a partner, but we'll do the best we can with by ourselves. All right. So we're gonna do start with. Uh, we're gonna start on one of the back cones. I'll show you. And we're gonna do a square around the box. So we're gonna when we go forward, we're running forward. When we go laterally, we're gonna sidestep or shuffle. And then when we go back, we're gonna back pedal. All right. And then once you finish the square. Take a quick break and then we'll change directions. All right. And why do we have the ball? Every time we change directions, we're going to bounce it and catch it in our diamond shape, right? Making sure that we have our hands behind the ball. Okay. So have the ball in your hands. Lily, ball in your hands, ball in your hands. There you go. All right, do four for that direction. And every time we change directions, I want you guys to get set. All right. Good, good work. Okay, let me know when you guys are done. Looks like got a couple that have already finished up. Cool. All right. Quick breather. Catch your breath. Stretch a little bit. If anything is sore or tired. All right. Now we're going to go the other direction. So if you started on the right cone, you're going to start on the left. If you start on the left cone, you'll start on the right in the back. All right. Whenever you're ready, I'm going to do four rounds again. Good. Work. All right, wait for everyone to catch their breath. Take about a 30 second break. So now we're gonna work on diagonals, okay? So I'm gonna start running. You can leave the ball aside again. We'll grab it in a second for the for other drills. So I want to start on the first comb that I started at on the last drill. And I'm going to run diagonal, then back pedal, and then run diagonal and back pedal. You're going to look like you're doing like a bow tie almost kind of movement or an hourglass. Actually. Watch out for the cones if you're in concrete. <laughs> All right. But when you go forward, I want you to go quick. Quick, Orlando, going forward. Run. Okay. We're just going to you're gonna back pedal backwards. But it's like a sprint when you go forward diagonally. Good. Stuff. Cool, work. All right, well, she's breathing hard. That's good, she's working hard. <laughs> you should be working hard. You should be breathing hard right now. I like it, good to see. All right, Oscar is like, this is easy. Give me some more. All right, 
So wait for Orlando to finish up. Okay. So the next one we're gonna do is kind of the opposite. So I'm gonna sprint forward and then I'm gonna do a crossover step backwards. So you guys know how to do crossover step? So it's not like a great find. We're not gonna ever cross our front, our leg behind the other leg, but we're gonna cross over forward. Just watch as I demo. So I'm coming forward. Set. These are important for the balls that come over our heads. So we're gonna try and do, we're not shuffling backwards, we're doing a crossover step. So you're, watch, watch again as I do it. Come closer to the camera if you can't see. All right. All right, let's see you do it. There we go, that's it gets us back quicker and we have to cover a bigger distance. So without putting the leg behind your other leg, it's always in front, always in front, Arlindo. There we go. Good work, cool. All right. Once you've done four, let me know. Perfect. Okay, now we'll grab the ball again. And this time we're gonna do a U, all right? So it's gonna be forward, back pedal, shuffle, forward, back pedal, shuffle, and that's one. We're gonna do four of them, all right? So we're gonna have the ball in our hands. And every time we come forward, I want you to plant, bounce, and then go into your drop step. But we're not, drop, we're not bouncing when we're on the back cones, just the front cones, okay? All right, I'll demo with you. All right, whenever you guys are ready. So we're only going in a U. So it's forward, backward in the same line that we start. So it's a U shape. No diagonals this time. You wanna see it again, Orlando? It's just a U shape, all right? So I'm gonna go forward, backward in the same line, then shuffle across. There we go. Good work. Good stuff. All right. When you're done, grab a quick drink. All right, so these drills that we were just doing, if you're, if you're at home and your parents are around or you have someone that can kick at you, in these drills, every time you get to the end, so for example, on this U one, where every time you bounce the ball, you could receive a volley, you could get a, a ball on the ground to work on, uh, work on a low ball, you can work on diving to the side as well. Um, especially the first ones we did too, where you were going forward with two feet in each, when you get to the end, you receive a, uh, a shot or either a low ball, high ball, you can work again on diving, um, whatever you want. So if you have a parent around or if you're able to train with a buddy, uh, you can do that.
All right, so now we're gonna do some work with the ball in our hands. You can put the cones away and your shoes away. I don't know, Lily, if your parents are asking for their shoes back, but you don't need them anymore. All right, so we're gonna start with one that similar to what we were doing before, but instead of throwing it with two hands, we're gonna work on our overhand throwing technique. So I'm going to overhand, catch it. Do 10 with each arm. Good. So make sure as I come back around, I'm getting, so I don't, they're face onto the ball, so I'm catching it square. If you watch my body shape. All right, because I always want my body to be right behind the ball. Good work. Stuff. All right, and as we're throwing, what's important about our throwing technique, right? I want to hold the ball here, trap it between my hand and my arm. And I want to keep my arm straight. So I'm using my shoulder and my body to create force to be able to throw. I'm not throwing it like a baseball. It's almost like I'm swimming. All right. Perfect. Good stuff. All right. Let me know when you've done 10 each arm. And make sure when it's bouncing up, I'm catching it in my W shape as it comes back around. All right. Stuff. All right, okay. Orlando's already done. Good work. Okay. All right. Now we're going to get our hands moving a little bit. We're going to do circles around our waist ball, all right? Like a, almost like a basketball player would do. So running in place, if you can. Once you get a hang, if you're, if you're stationary and you can do it, try doing it running in place. 10 one direction and then 10 the other direction. Work. Once you get better, try not to look at the ball. It gets harder when you're not watching it, right? Good, you just wanna be able to know and feel where it is. Stuff. All right. How are we going, everyone? Everyone do 10. She's, she could go all day with this. I like it. Just keep going. Don't stop. These are all good ones that you can do on your own as well. If you're bored, family's watching Netflix, you're like, let me grab my ball and bother you guys while I'm going around in circles around my waist. All right, so now we're gonna do a figure eight through our legs. So I'm gonna open my legs wide. Good. So open, open my legs wide, wide, if I can. There you go. And as I go to one side, I'm going to lean. There you go. And the, the opposite leg is going to stay straight. Good job, Oscar. Good. Once you got the hang of one direction, so you've done at least 10, switch sides, switch directions. All right, so now go back once you get, looks like you got, got the hang of it there. All right, we're gonna try it one more time, but not looking at the ball. Can you do that? Let me see if you can do that. So keeping your head up. That gets a bit harder. Good, stop. Like it, all right. Once you've done 10, hold it up, okay. Now we're gonna have the ball starting in front. 
and I'm going to catch it behind me. Toss it back over, catch it in front. Once you get 10 successful catches, all right, let me know. Good work. Harder than it looks. <laughs> Try not to stick your bum out as you're trying to catch behind you because otherwise it's gonna hit you in the back. All right, this is you guys' homework over the next few weeks. I wanna see you guys practicing at home. And we'll know too, because if, if you can't do it, then we know who hasn't been practicing. Good work, stuff. All right, looks like most of you are ready to level up. All right, we'll go to the next, next drill, okay? So I'm gonna have the ball between my legs, both arms on one side, and then I'm going to let go of it and try to catch the ball with my hands on the other side of my legs. I'll show you. If that's too hard, you can't catch it in the air, let it bounce first. So this is the modification. Good work. Um, try to get 10 successful catches. Let me know when you've done it 10 times in a row. Oscar, you got to get both hands behind you there. That's the next one we're doing. If it's too hard, let it bounce first. There we go. That's all right. There you go. Perfect. Once you get the hang out with the bounce, then you can start trying it without. There you go. I like it. Perfect. It's okay. I like the effort. Good stuff, guys. All right. Ready for the next one? It's similar, okay? But this time, I think actually Oscar was doing it before we even started this moment while we were doing the last one. We're gonna have one arm in front and one arm behind. We're gonna switch. Hey, good job. I like it. Good job, Orlando. Once you get the hang of it, try to go a little bit faster. So where you're switching quicker. So you're not holding onto the ball for as long. Good work. All right, ready for the next, the next challenge? Okay. So if you're inside, just be aware of your ceilings or your light fixtures. Don't want you guys breaking any, <laughs> breaking anything in your house. For those of you outside, you have less of an issue. So I'm gonna have the ball on one side of my body. So once you get the hang of it in place, yeah, there you go. Try to get a little step in between. Good.
Good work. All right, once you've done 10 each side, let me know. If it's too easy, Miles, toss it higher. There you go. Challenge yourself, that's perfect, cool. Good work, all right. Now we're gonna do something similar, except instead of catching it on the side of our body, we're gonna let it fall in the middle. I'll show you, and we're gonna go down with it. I'll show you. There you go. I want to see you guys get low. Get low. Almost like you're in a squat position as you go down. There you go. Good work. Even lower if you can, Chi. I know you can get low. You're a, you are a foot talkie, but that's it. That's the movement. That's it. Good stuff. Perfect. Good work. Good job, Lily. Keep it up. It's all right. Keep trying. There you go. Try and catch it with one hand if you can. All right. Good work. All right. Now we're going to do a little bit of high ball catching. Okay. So I'm going to do, actually, you can, if it's too hard to kick, you can toss it with your hand. So you can do that. So if I'm going to my right side, I'm going to toss my right arm. If I'm going to my left side, I'll toss my left. But if you're up for it, you can try kicking it like a punt. Not like that. All right, so the older goalkeepers, try kicking if you can. I mean, maybe not to you because you're inside, but there you go. Good, Anastasia. Good. Lily, <laughs> maybe stick with throwing it for now. Watch out for your roof. Good work. Remember to bring your knee up with you and try to switch sides, switch with leg you're jumping with. Good work. All right, now we're gonna see how we are with, with punches. All right. Have you guys done more or less 10 with each light with each side? 10 on each? Cool. All right, I'm gonna try juggling. All right, let's see you guys try it. As you get better, you can hit it higher up. So try to use this part here, right? Not the back of your hand. You want to use your knuckles. Right? I want to hit the ball here. Not here. Here, or this part. Not this part. There you go. All right, the first one, let me know who's the first one to get 10 in a row. 
I, I was going to say tea, but I would just jinx her, I think. <laughs> Try to use, get some left-handed ones as well, if you can. <laughs> Try and say Anybody get to 10? Anyone get to five, six? I think I've seen the, somebody get to five, I think. 10, good stuff, Oscar. Good work. Cool. How many of you guys have two balls at home? You do? Everybody does pretty much? Hey you guys, two balls there. All right, I'm gonna give you some homework for, well, before we have our next session, which may be in a couple weeks, in a month, we'll see. But all these drills, you can do by yourself, right? And if you have a parent, like I said, they can kick some at you as well. It don't have to be too hard. So right, we're gonna try a balancing contest. Actually, yeah, we'll see. Time yourself. As after you start practicing, and we'll see who can, who can hold the balance of the ball for the longest. So I'm going to stack, try and stack one ball on top of the other, and keep it on top. All right, that's one of the challenges. Okay, so that's for. Well, see, so do we all have two balls on hand? I think I'm not sure everyone has two. Balls. Oh, that works. She, yeah, <laughs> she's ready to juggle. And if you don't have two balls, it's all right. It'll be for the next for the next session. Oh, that works too, Anastasia. You can try balancing something else, although it looks like it's pretty stable. Almost. Okay. The next challenge, it's a bit tougher. See how you can do it. Well, we're gonna try to to dribble two balls if they were basketballs, right? But both at the same time. All right, if you only have one ball, just try doing it with one ball, but don't look at the ball while you're doing it. Or you can do it with tennis balls and that might. There you go, good Lily. And as you get better, try not to look at it. So you can look up, if you only have one, if you're only using one ball, try not to look at the ball while you're doing it. All right, so that's another one for you guys to try at home with two balls. And the last one, which is probably the hardest one, it's hard for me to do as well. We're gonna try juggling two balls with our hands, okay? So I'm gonna to toss one up. And you're gonna see how many you can get. All right. Okay, so that's something for you to practice at home. All right. See how many you guys can do in the next, by the next session. Yeah, Lily, you're gonna keep working on that one with the sidestep in between. I like it. Cool. Matt, just a quick question. How are we on time? Uh, it's quarter past five. Quarter past five. So going on so for 45, 45 minutes. minutes. All right, we're gonna just close out with some, all right, close it up with five minutes of goalkeeper abs, all right? We're just gonna go through each exercise once. So each exercise, just probably will just have to watch me. The first is gonna be bicycles with the ball through your legs. The second one is going to be a plank where you roll and you switch arms. And then the last one we're gonna do is just a normal sit up with a ball over our head, All right? We're gonna do 20 of each exercise, okay? Here's follow along.
Ready for you finish that one? All right, we're gonna go on to the plank one. Okay. If this is too e if it's too easy, just rolling the ball. You can try tossing it. So And if that's too easy, you can try it tossing it. Good work, stuff. I like those of you who are challenging yourselves too. Good stuff, guys. All right. Last one. We just got 20 normal sit ups. And we're gonna, as we come up, we're gonna push the ball over our heads. So if you're under 12, you're going to do 15 of these. And if you're over 12, aim for 20. Good work. And these ab exercises you can do on your own. Do maybe three sets of three rounds of these. So you go through each one three times. All right. How are we feeling? Piece of cake. Good. Cool. Well, it was really great to see you guys. You did a really good job today. Hopefully, we might be seeing each other again in another Zoom session. And this will be recorded. So any of these drills, you can, like I said, you can do them on your own. If you have a brother or sister around, parent, uh, if you have a, a training buddy, grab them and you can add a ball. And also do some, you can even do passing. You can dribble through the cones. There's lots of things you can do. but. Most of all, really great to see you guys. Miss, miss being around the club, but hang in there because we'll be, hopefully we'll be together again soon. All right, good work.